So as we take a look at this study that we're about to begin through 1 John and uh, of the assurance of salvation and also of eternal life, we begin to look at those things and we, we've talked about, you know, what is a true Christian already and what is not a true Christian. We're going to talk about that in more detail, but John lays out what a true Christian is, what somebody that is a true valid Christian. And he says in, again in verse 13, he says, these things I have written unto you. Now we know he has the authority to write these things. We looked at that. We know this is his purpose statement, the very things that he wrote. But uh, I just want us to look real quickly what are some of the things that he wrote at. There are seven statements that we're going to be looking at. And we're going to be looking at more than just that, but we're going to be looking specifically uh, and around these seven statements that John had mentioned. Um, as we look at 1 John chapter 2 and verse 3, we begin to understand that the true Christian keeps God's commandment. First John chapter two and verse three, it says, and hereby do uh, we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. We know that we know him, right? We have the assurance that we know him if we keep his commandments. So the true Christian is going to keep the commandments of God. Second thing that we find right here is the true Christian, according to verse five, but whoso keeps his word in him, verily is the love of God perfected. And listen, he says this statement again, hereby know we that we are in him. Okay, so this second thing right here, the true Christian lives in obedience. And so if we're in obedience to him, we know that we have true eternal life. And then he goes on to say in 1 John chapter 2 in verse 18, he says right here, little children, it is the last uh, last time or last hour. And as you have heard that uh, Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. And he goes on uh, to say right here, if, if we look at this, the true Christian is going to be the one that is faithful to God and rejects the things of this world and is not called up by the lies and the trickery of the Antichrist. The fourth thing we find right here, uh, 1 John chapter 3 and verse 24, the true Christian's identity is not in this world, but the true Christian's identity is in Jesus Christ. 1 John chapter 3 verse 24, and he that keepeth his commandments dwell, uh, dwelleth in him, and he in him, and hereby we know that he abideth in us. We know that he abideth in us by the spirit which he hath given. And so because the spirit of God is in us, we know that he abides in us. First John chapter four and verse six, the, cru the true Christian discerns truth and error. So the true Christian is gonna have a spirit of discernment within them. First John four, six says this, uh, we are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby we know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. We know. Be why? Because God is in us, and God teaches us truth, and God teaches us also what error is. And so by that, the Bible says that we know. We also know uh, the sixth way right here in 1 John uh, chapter 4 and verse 13. He says, hereby uh, know we, again, we know, right? Hereby know we that we dwell in him. We know that we dwell in him, he's saying, and he in us because he hath given us his spirit, okay? So once again, he gives us his spirit. We walk in his spirit. We keep his commandments. We are able to discern truth and we are able to discern Error. The last thing that we look at in 1 John chapter 5 
in verse two, he says, by this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments, okay? So that is evidence that we are truly saved if we love the children of God, if we love God. What are the commandments of God? Jesus said there too. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and your soul and your mind. And the second, that's the first and foremost. And the second one is likened to it. And that's to love your neighbor as yourself. Now, if we do all of those things, is that going to save us? No. See, these are not the means of salvation. We need to understand that. That's very, very important. Not the means of salvation. They are the evidences of salvation. Now, secondly, if we don't know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and we don't have the Spirit of God in us, we're not even going to be remotely close to being able to do any of these things. So we need Jesus. We need Jesus within our lives. These are the evidences of salvation, not the means of salvation. And we can only do these things if we truly know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. The good news is, is that God has given to us his word that we can know, that we can truly, truly know. That's good news, good news worthy of sharing. So would you share this video so others can hear it and others can receive it when they believe it.